going to the hospital. Getting a full physical exam. Maybe we'll find out what's wrong with him. Wait, wait, you, you, you're taking me? You got a problem with that? Yeah, I got a problem with anybody named Buchanan. Look, I'm having shots of him taking photos. And, and he better be in the same condition when he gets back to the cell as he is when he leaves his cell. You understand me? And come on. We keeping you up? Yeah. <clears throat> Could you shut the hell up? Watch your mouth. <laughs> what are you going to do? Arrest me? Mr. Manning, we're ready to prep you for the MRI scan. You'll have to remove the handcuffs for this. right? Yeah, well, you might be faking it, you know. Uh, he looks dead to the world to me. Yeah, well, the world could be so lucky. All right, hold him down. You got him? I want the keys to the penthouse. Todd's giving it back to me, and he doesn't want you anywhere near our daughter. I don't know. I used to think this patient was worth saving, but not anymore. Yeah, but if we let him die, he gets off so easy. Oh, I don't know if I can let him die. He's Star's daddy. So what? Star's better off without him. So are women everywhere, especially me. Hmm. Uh, what are you seeing? I'm seeing a shriveled organ. Just, just, just totally shriveled from disuse. Tell me about it. Prognosis? Oh, more of same. Well, what do you recommend? I'm afraid a total excision. A complete cardiotomy. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Don't worry, Boomer. You won't even notice it's gone. He hasn't felt anything there in that spot in years. Can I cut him? No, no. Me, I get to. I'm the one he abused the most. Okay, fine, but I get to watch. Oh, Todd, believe me when I tell you, this is going to hurt me so much more than it hurts you. Hello. Isn't that a bad dream? I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask it's you to leave. It's all right. I can manage. Of course you can. Just hand over the keys. Why should I? The penthouse is still my legal residence. Well, not anymore. It belongs to Todd, and he's refusing you access to it. More importantly, to our daughter. Blair, where's your self-respect? It's Todd, remember? He's just using Star to oh, manipulate don't you, even you talk again. To me about self-respect. You took millions to marry him, imposed a stepmother of the year. Well, let me tell you something. That day is over, Taya. And I want you out of my daughter's life. Like it or not, Star and I have a relationship. Besides, she's been through so many changes lately. Yes, she has, and it's made her wonderfully flexible. <sighs> Stay out of her life. She's going to get used to being around her mother. Now, give me the keys. You're just like him, aren't you? God help her with you and Todd as her role models. Hey. What was that? An MRI. That's what I'm getting. Put you in that tube, you, you can't move. That's what I'm getting? That's right. No, you, you can't do that. You, you can't put that mask on me. I'd go nuts. What are you talking about? You demanded this test, now you're scared to take it? I gotta have that thing. Well, no question. Your head has to be completely immobilized. All right. I'll do it. I'll put that thing on, but you gotta do me a favor. What's that? What are you doing? I'm feeling a little claustrophobic. Well, you're not. Look, got the contracts that took care of your business, so sign it. Just sign it. 
Right there. Oh, up there. Aaron, you're the only one I've got left. You know that. Well, then you're in big trouble, Tom. I'm not going back to jail. I can make it look like I forced you to help me. Why would I help you? I owe you absolutely nothing. Yeah, but you owe Star. What? You owe Star a better life without me, jail or no jail. What are you talking about? I'll give you my home and my business and my daughter. You just write it up and I'll sign it. But you gotta help me disappear. Wait, wait, where, where's Blair? I need Blair. Where's Blair? Wait, wait, Todd, I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here, baby. I'm right with you. Listen, the doctor gave me permission to go in with him. He did. I don't know about that. I mean... No, no, wait, wait, wait. you don't know Todd. Now, he, he'll get crazy. He could do, you know, hurt himself or hurt the machines. You know, it's better. Oh, really, it's better if I go. Blair can stay, right? I want Blair to right. stay. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Go on. I'm right with you, sweetheart. Come on. Things gonna be okay. You bet it is, Blair. to know is I know where you are. What do you want? Gotta go. Talk to you later. Todd. Come here, sweetie. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a king who had a beautiful daughter who was a princess. And while the king did some things that some of the other princes in town didn't like so much, so the king had to go away because he was scared that the other princess would kill him. And that made the daughter very sad because she was going to miss her father very much. But the king reminded her that if she ever wanted to talk to the king, all she had to do was go to the pond. Because who was there? But the magic frog. Right. Freddie the magic frog. All she had to do was talk to the frog, and her father would hear every word that she said. Are you going away, Daddy? Your mom will take good care of you when I'm gone. You always go. I don't want you to. I don't want to go. But this time I really have to go. Real slow, all right? Yeah. It's 